Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I hope you're having a beautiful Sunday and that you had a wonderful weekend. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on the Burgundy Palette by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm quite excited about this one. If you haven't seen it uh, yet, I also have a review up on the Bronze Palette by Kylie Cosmetics. I'll be putting a card somewhere so you can check it out. And so yeah, I'm going to be demoing it to you, showing you how I created this look, sort of, kind of, while still giving you my thoughts on this palette that is so talked about let's like let's face it so without no further ado let's get into the video I do hope you press that like button and that you subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's get into it okay so let's talk about the packaging first so it came in the usual uh, Kylie shadow packaging with like EXO EXO Kylie at the back and there was also the little paper thingy uh, with like her eyes are you know moving and stuff and then over here you have the name of the uh, palette I hope it focuses there you go and you have a metallic uh, burgundy all around which is really nice and sleek but to be honest with you I'm gonna chuck this away I just kept it for the sake of the review then you have her usual uh, cardboard um, packaging so you have the tiers with uh, the with the tiers of colors that are in the palette and behind once more you have Kylie XOXO and the names of the eyes. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this especially that you have a lot of space in the palette itself to actually have it printed out underneath and once more there's like the Kylie no mirror but in her recent um, Christmas holiday palette, there is um, there is a mirror, so I guess she listened. Now I would love to see uh, the names of the eyeshadows written directly under because there is a space for it, except if she's going for like a special aesthetic. But I just feel it's just more practical. So once more, she has nine eyeshadows and there are five mattes three really ultra shimmery shades and one that is really similar to the formula in the uh, bronze palette which is this one over here called naked I hear some people complaining about it but I personally don't mind because um, one it shows up on my skin like really shimmery that's what I have in my inner tear duct actually and a little bit on my brow bone and also um, I think it's like you know it's a it, it's one of those colors you always have anyways like if you want to add extra highlight I guess you can use your own highlighter uh, but I don't mind this being a tad less shimmery than the others because the others are really 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 super duper pigment. as for the formula I will say that I feel it has really improved uh, compared to her first palette they are way way more buttery there is still some kickback um, very pigmented very buttery applies beautifully uh, to the lid I will say however I was a little bit disappointed by uh, the shade uh, Dubai and burgundy given that they are I guess the main uh, attraction to this palette they were a tad underwhelming but honestly I don't mind for this one I used it all over my lid and I applied it using uh, first I tried it with a with a natural hair brush but it clearly did not work so I went in with a synthetic brush that I wet a little bit with some fix plus and I had no problems whatsoever so um, all over my lid I actually used um, beach which is like this beautiful uh, brown very close to my skin tone that I can use as a transition slash uh, eyeshadow that I can lay all over my lid which is what I, I went in with Penny to deepen the crease a little bit what a beautiful color very very pigmented reminds me a lot of citrine but not as orangey but still very beautiful if you have a lighter complexion it will really really show up on your skin so if you're scared go in with a light hand because it's very pigmented and it's it's not as intense as citrine but very close to it and then to deepen my crease even more and give uh, my look a little bit more dimension I went in with Penny and Penny reminds me kind of like a sort of a terracotta color really beautiful Just, uh, I went back to use beach and um, brick 
to smudge under my eyes and then I use naked in my inner tear duct and also um, on my brow bone um, and also a little bit on my uh, cupid's bow and the tip of my nose because I think it's such a beautiful uh, highlight. So my thoughts in general is like if you weren't a really thinking about getting the bronze palette because you're not so sure about the formula i will say that she has improved uh immensely on the the formulation of these eyeshadows they work very nicely um very very pigmented all in all i really do like this palette do not miss out on it especially now that um it seems that she really has her stock um you know ready you don't have the whole problem of oh everything is sold out in the first minute and I saw that she opened up a store recently a pop-up shop or something so there is a lot of stock so you're not gonna be there waiting to you know oh I didn't get it the first round oh my gosh like it seems like she's slowly starting to get her shit together so um, you can create so many looks with it even like some simple simple looks just like with the first roll this is what I use on everyday basis when I want to you know a light glam or something like that this is what I use like just the first roll you can just get away with it uh, if you want to amp things up a little bit you can use like the bottom row or you can mix everything as you want but I feel this uh, palette is so versatile you can you can you know create a lot of looks so there you have it I do hope this was helpful if you have any questions that I maybe did not answer please leave them in the comments below and I have a question for you guys do you think that Kylie is really coming into her own what do you think about her company and where she's come from and where she seems to be heading I want to know your thoughts on it just leave a comment below uh, be sure to join me on snapchat Instagram Twitter all that I'll be leaving the links in the description box below and also if you want close-up shots of my makeup look and arm swatches and close-ups of the palette itself be sure to check out the blog post that I'll be linking in the description box and yeah I will see you on Wednesday and actually Wednesday will be the last video of the year because my family is coming in and I'm not gonna be filming anymore or editing or anything like that so yeah I do hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday bye guys